38,000 families have been served by this. It's a great promotion for the Iowa cattle industry. So it's, I'm very proud to sponsor this. I'll never forget the first one, 83. It was 108 degrees, and my kids won the show. Well, ag is such an important aspect for our uh, economy, and we especially appreciate the beef industry, and our numbers are coming back. And we're going to keep doing everything we can to drive up those beef numbers. More than three decades ago, the Iowa Beef Industry Council and the Iowa Cattlemen's Association joined forces with Governor Terry Branstad to organize the first Governor's Charity Steer Show. Have you shown a steer before? I attempted to last year, but I think the steer showed me. Uh, so we're hoping for much more success this year. Over the years, funds raised in the Charity Steer Show have helped build Ronald McDonald houses in Des Moines, Iowa City, and Sioux City. So they're clapping not for you. No, no, no. Oh. They're looking at Toby. Oh. And Tanner not, joins us as well. And Tanner, uh, what did you do to help Mike get prepared here? I didn't do much. Mike's pretty much a natural. Oh, look at that. Over the previous 31 years, the Governor's Charity Steer Show has raised more than $2.2 million for the Ronald McDonald Houses of Iowa. Last year, more than $185,000 was raised through the auction that follows the annual competition. Certainly very optimistic times, certainly with good prices, uh, but the competitive nature of the industry, I think, allows us to grow in the future here and, and the industry strong and look at all the young people involved. This year's judge is Charlie Peters from Bellevue, Iowa. Plenty for Peters to ponder as he looks over the field of those participating in the 32nd Annual Governor's Charity Steer Show. We like to say that this steer here is corn powered. My job out here in these market steers is to evaluate them as you would in a steer show. There's two things we need to look for. How much muscle do they have? You know, how much product? And then that product that they have, are they at a finished end point or at a harvest end point where we can provide a safe, wholesome product to the consumer and we can do it um, where it's a quality product for the consumer. He'll take one final look at the field. And it looks like he's ready to make his choice. It's Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds with Chase and Jason. Well, I think they had more steers showing this year than they've had in a while. And so it's really, it's for a phenomenal cause. And I really appreciate these young people that, you know, spend their time raising these steers and then they, you know, sell them and all the donation goes to the Ronald McDonald House. So that certainly says a lot about our young people today. And it says a lot about, you know, what Iowa, the future of Iowa. Now it's time to go from the show ring to the sale ring and sell these steers for charity. And that's how we finished up for the 32nd Annual Governor's Charity Steer Show.